fuse box. Your fuse box will look similar to one of these. Don't worry if it doesn't, they're all the same in principle. This is my fuse box. Yours might be higher up on the wall. If it is, use a step ladder so that you're safe. Don't stand on the dog or anything like that. Right. Your fuse box contains trip switches and RCD switches. Check that they are all in the on position. These are so sensitive they will trip even if a light bulb fails. Oh, and make sure the RCD switch is on. Nine times out of ten, it's the RCD. Don't worry, it's safe to touch your fuse box. You cannot get electrocuted. If a switch has tripped and you're not sure what's caused it, it should be labelled on your fuse box. So you can easily find out if it's the lights that have caused it to trip, or if it's a socket that has an appliance plugged into it. This could save you time in unplugging all the appliances, if, say, it's just a light bulb that's blown. Remember, the last thing you used will most likely be the cause. Right. If a trip switch won't reset, it might be due to a faulty appliance or socket. To determine this, unplug all appliances and try resetting the trips. Once the trips have been reset, plug the appliances back in one at a time and switch them back on. If the trip fails again, the last appliance plugged in is likely to be the cause. Unplug the appliance and reset the trip. Don't plug the faulty appliance back in as it will make the switch trip again, so don't reuse it. If everything still isn't working, contact your landlord.